I was first asked to perform a Christmas Carol in in 1993. Um, it, it wasn't my idea at all, which is is terrible, really. But um, 1993 was the 150th anniversary of the first publication of the book, and somebody came to me uh, with the idea of of restaging one of the the readings of a Christmas Carol that Charles Dickens himself had done, and I decided as an actor that it would be it would be good to to well, it, it sounds awful now, but to liven it up a bit and give all the characters different voices and different expressions on their faces. So I, I, I started working through that system. A Merry Christmas, Uncle! God save you! cried the cheerful voice of Scrooge's nephew, who came upon him so quickly that this was the first intimation Scrooge had of his approach. Bah! said Scrooge. Humbug! <laughs> Christmas a humbug, Uncle. You don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. And it was a, a big success. Everyone in the audience liked it, and I enjoyed it very much, which is why I continued doing it. But after the event, I decided to go back and do some research about how Charles Dickens himself had performed the piece. And what I discovered was he had done exactly the same. He had given all the characters the voices and the expressions and a way of holding their hands and all of this. So actually, I'd been rather proud of, of doing it myself. I'd done nothing. It, it, it had all been done a 100 years before or so. Um, it just shows what a wonderful theatrical novel it is and, and, and what a great creator it had. What is Christmas time to you but a time for paying bills with no money? A time for finding yourself a year older but not an hour richer. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with many Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and bedded with a stake of holly through his heart. He should, uncle, nephew. Within my uh, one-man performance of A Christmas Carol, I think I counted up that there are 26 separate characters all in all. And I'm often asked, how on earth do you go about creating that many different characters without having any costume changes or makeup or special effects or anything else? And the answer is really that, that, that most of the work's been done for me in, in that the characters were so brilliantly written in the first place. They are so strong and so clearly defined within their description. Um, take the description of Ebenezer Scrooge that the first time we really get introduced to him in the book, Charles Dickens writes, Oh, but he was a tight fisted hand at the grindstone, Scrooge. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. And you just can't help but get to the end of the sentence and be Scrooge. I mean, you're all hunched up and your face is scrunched and all the voice is tight and everything else. So he's instantly there. Keep Christmas in your own way. Let me keep it in mine. <laughs> keep it. But, Uncle, you do not keep it. Well, let me leave it alone, then. Much good may it do you. Much good has it ever done you. The, the, to, to, to a certain extent, um, you, you really have to build peaks and troughs in, into the performance of it because it, some of it is very dark and some of it is, is, is almost slapstick, is, is very comedic. So the, 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 the secret is to, to have the laughs, to release the tension. So actually you can then get the tension back again. Now, there are some, some very, especially towards the end of the, 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 the book with the ghost of Christmas yet to come, um, there are some very somber and, and tragic scenes in that bit. And you need a sudden break. You need to release the audience um, to, to let them laugh. So yes, I, I do try and build both aspects in as much as I can. Pet, the bedpost was his own. The bed was his own. The room was his own. And best and happiest of all, the time before him was his own to make amends in. I, I, I shall live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. Oh, heaven and the Christmas time be praised for this. I say it on my knees, Jacob Marley. On my knees. His hands were busy with his garments all of this time, tearing them, mislaying them, putting them on inside out, upside down, back to front. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I, I'm as light as a feather. 
I'm as merry as a schoolboy. I'm as giddy as a drunken man. A merry Christmas to everybody. A happy new year to all the world. Whoop! Hello! Scrooge ran to the window and opened it. No fog, no mist, but clear, bright, shining, golden sunlight. What's today, my fine fellow? He called to a young boy who was passing. I? What's today, my fine fellow? <laughs> today? Well, it's Christmas Day. Audiences react very differently to A Christmas Carol in, in many, many different ways. And I think one of the reasons for that is that, that the large majority of them bring their own perception of A Christmas Carol into the theatre with them. It's, it's something that's lived with them from childhood right the way through. So some people react to the joyousness of it, the fun of it. So within a performance, they will love the, 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 the comedy and the big fun scenes. Others respond very much to the, the tragedy of it, um, the tragedy of, of the Cratchit family and, and the possibility that they will lose Tiny Tim and will have a much more um, thoughtful and caring reaction. Scrooge. Shut up the office. Huh. Bob Cratchit, speaking of a Merry Christmas, huh. I'll retire to Bedlam. And he made his way into the city streets. Humbug. Get out of my way. On, on the whole, the, the, the audiences respond and react with me beautifully. So it, it almost becomes a, a, a cooperation in the end. The, the audience is as much part of the show as I am, which makes it great fun to do. Some people laughed to see the alterations in him. But he let them laugh. He little heeded them. His own heart laughed. And that was enough for him. It was always said of Scrooge that he knew how to keep Christmas well if any man alive possessed that knowledge. And may that be truly said of us. Oh, and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, every one. Have a very Merry Christmas. I first did a version of it in 1993, um, but at that time it was it was just a reading, it was a straight reading, so oh. it's changed a bit over the years. <laughs> Amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Great Have performance. Great Christmas. And you. Bye. Bye. Thank there you we so are. Much. Have a wonderful Christmas. Christmas.